I'd like to talk a little bit about brush playing. It's something I get asked about a great deal, uh, both from private students and in drum clinics and drum camps and so on. Brush playing is a little bit of a lost art. There's not that much literature out there. And I think as a result of which, it's remained a very kind of organic, very individual kind of aspect of what the drummer is called upon to do. And I have a few things that uh, I hope you'll find of interest. And the first thing is about, for jazz brush playing, getting a pulse from the left hand. A lot of times, a lot of times you'll hear guys play brushes and it's just a sort of, the left hand is just a sort of background noise. Now, I tend to think of the hands where brushes are concerned as a leading hand and a following hand and that can actually switch from one side to the other. So first of all, let's take a slow tempo. And you can hear there's a very clearly defined quarter note pulse running through that. And what's happening is I'm just accelerating the brush motion as I get to the far end of the travel. So right up here kind of like at 11 o'clock on the snare drum. So just that left hand alone is stating the pulse. So that means it's making a really valuable contribution rather than just kind of following behind the right hand and leaving the right hand in charge of the time. And that opens up a lot of different possibilities to me. And what I like to do with that at this slow kind of tempo is this. So there's the left hand making that quarter note pulse. The right hand is doing this. <laughs> 